Hello and welcome to Style West. I'm your host, Mia Starr. Today we'll take you on a tour of a fabulous home in Pritchard Farm Southlands. We'll also give you the lowdown on the latest design trends and products, decorating advice from the pros, and fab finds from three local boutiques. For a taste of what's on the menu, we'll visit Style's Kitchen, where recipes and cocktails are always in the mix. The stunning inspiration of nature in Maricombe's newest design is the beautiful and serene Pritchard Farm Southlands. I am here with Kathy Merrick, co-owner of Merrick Homes with husband Steve. Uh, Kathy, what are some of your favorite features of this home? Well, I love the exterior. I love the open concept. I love how we've taken advantage of this lot with the abundance of windows facing the back and looking onto the creek. I love the fireplace. I love the kitchen and I love the walk-in pantry. I would love for you to show me around. Let's go. Let's go. Merrick Homes is well known for its two bedroom bungalows and this one is exceptional. Featuring a rustic stone facade and a wide veranda the exterior is warm and inviting. Steve Merrick is an award-winning master builder well known for unique finishing details like curved interior walls, niches and interesting bulkheads. The Merricks established a good sense of continuity with a color scheme that carries from the stonework of its outside walls to the interior of the home. In fact, the color palette for the entire home is inspired by the granite countertop which has shades of plum, charcoal, and a tinge of caramel. The caramel color was chosen for the main walls in the home, while the maple hardwood seen in this cozy den is stained in a charcoal finish with caramel undertones. This den can be also used as a library or home office. Note the three interior windows that look towards the inside of the house, allowing you to see what's going on in the great room while you're busy in here. The full-length drapery panels introduce charcoal, caramel and black into the color scheme. In the foyer, more of Steve's trademark touches are evident, like these four niches enhanced with charcoal tile and illuminated with puck lights. The curved bulkhead and wall create a beautiful natural flow towards the open concept great room. The great room features a stunning fireplace and a curved design, echoing the curved wall in the foyer. In contrast to the rustic stonework seen on the home's exterior, it is clad in contemporary dark rundle stone from El Dorado. The stone also picks up the charcoal and caramel colors throughout the home. Large windows overlook the sumptuous seating area. The drapery treatment carries the brown, plum and caramel tones down to an accent chair upholstered in the same fabric. Dividing the great room from the dinette, yet cleverly maintaining an open look, is the bar area with the bulkhead detail. Right off the great room and beside the dinette, the kitchen features maple cappuccino cabinetry and a huge raised island with an eating area that can seat four to six people. It is topped with the granite that inspired the color palette for this home. Stainless steel appliances complement the dark granite and cabinetry from the built-in oven and microwave to the double door refrigerator and dishwasher to the island cooktop with pop-up vent. Another handy feature is the spacious walk-in pantry. It can be accessed from two doors, the kitchen and the back entrance. The space behind the island is also put to good use. This area is beautifully enhanced with floating shelves and at the end of the unit, a built-in china cabinet. The dinette area is 18 feet long, so it can be used more formally when desired. The windows take full advantage of the creek view at the rear of the home, as do the sliding wood doors leading to the patio. In the master bedroom, the Merricks changed up the color scheme. The plums used as an accent in the main living area become the predominant color here. A taupe plum was used on the walls, accented by the darker plums of the bedding and chair. 
Both plum and white are used to achieve a clean, sharp look. Another unique touch is the suspended lighting on either side of the bed, coordinating perfectly with the main ceiling fixture. Entering the master ensuite are more of Steve's trademark niches, making an attractive display area for accents. The ensuite features a clean, spa-like look. To achieve that, whites and creams are combined with charcoals and greys, along with a tinge of plum. A huge six-foot jacuzzi is flanked on either side by his and her vanities. The vanities are raised and the plumbing is exposed, yet another unique detail Steve incorporated into the design. The bulkheads above the vanity jacuzzi add a dramatic touch. Steve pays close attention to staircase design. He likes them to be a focal point in the home. This one is split with a landing and accented with tall floor-to-ceiling niches illuminated with puck lights, which create a pillar effect. The lower level is open and features walkout patio doors to the backyard. Here, four large windows afford a beautiful view of the creek and allow for plenty of natural light. The pool table area is a great space for entertaining. In fact, the layout could easily incorporate a home theater room simply by adding a wall. There are also two large bedrooms and a full bathroom on this level, making it a great space for teenagers. A cozy yet spacious sitting area features a replica of the fireplace found on the main floor, only somewhat smaller in scale. Fully wired for sound, the lower level is a great place for watching a movie, playing games or entertaining. In fact, the bar area is designed with that in mind. It features floating cabinets and a raised granite-topped pedestal for relaxing with a beverage and watching the lower level action from every vantage point. Once again, Merrick Homes have outdone themselves with this fabulous bungalow design. Getting your home on the right footing starts at the right flooring. The starting point is the fashion runway where international designers lay the groundwork for style. Here to give us the lowdown on the latest trends is Tom Lambert from Curtis Carpets. Hi, I'm Tom Lambert with Curtis Carpets. We're always on the lookout for the latest in today's floor covering trends. We're seeing consumers move past the basics of yesteryear and starting to incorporate some really cutting edge options into their homes. Products like Italian porcelain tile, exotic hardwood and cork are becoming commonplace. Nowhere are these new products exemplified better than in a number of show homes that we can see throughout the city of Winnipeg. A great example of this cutting edge fashion is the Savoy porcelain tile featured in this stunning Merrick home. Savoy porcelain it's an Italian-based manufacturer, but really they're a global company. What we're seeing in their display are some of the newest and most exotic styles available on the market, not just in here, but these are the same products that are being put on the floors and walls in Europe right now. They really are cutting edge, and they have fabulous quality control. Right from the, from the clay mines where they're drawing the natural resources from the ground, right up to the basic finishing and packaging lines of the product. It's, it's a complete in-house total control concept. They incorporate a number of different finishes, a number of different textures into their product that it creates different illusions of depth, different feel to their product, fabulous accent and feel tile. I mean, really you have no end of option of what you can do with this type of product. The Ralph Lauren collection brings beauty and carpeting to a whole new level. You'll see Mr. Lauren's signature scattered throughout this line in subtle details and creative use of color and texture. Variations in twist level and pile height create unique patterns and sculpted effects in the carpet. Mr. Lauren finds inspiration in the herringbone and pinstripes of men's formal wear, the luxurious fabrics of women, women's wear, all the way to the warmth and comfort of a cable knit sweater. There's five distinct collections to reflect individual lifestyle that translates beautifully to the home. Today we're seeing a real move toward hardwood flooring. Traditional products like oak and maple still remain popular, but the major trend is moving toward exotic woods. 
Manufacturers like Torley's incorporate 11 different species from around the world. These are engineered floors that not only can bring warmth and beauty to your home on the main floor, but they can be installed in a full concrete basement. Cork is rapidly becoming one of the more popular choices for floor covering. Cork is naturally warm, it's quiet, and it's comfortable underfoot, yet it's extremely hard wearing for everyday life, it's easily repairable, and it's easy to refinish. Torless incorporates 50 different patterns and stain colors to choose from. Getting your home started on the right foot starts with choosing the right floor. You'll be amazed at the options out there. A fabulous home starts with an excellent architectural design, but it's only truly finished when the interior decor is complete. Sharing her insights on pulling all the decorating details together is Meg Dezelikson of Interior Illusions. Hello, I'm Meg Dezelikson from Interior Illusions. Whether you're building a new home or renovating an existing space, it makes good sense to consult with a professional. Today's builders frequently turn to design professionals for developing color palettes and selecting window treatments, accessories, and furniture for their show homes. Usually there's a point of inspiration with any design project, and in this case, the granite countertop was the key element of establishing the color scheme. From there, we pulled out shades of plum, charcoal, and caramel, which we introduced throughout the home. In the great room, we anchored the setting with a uniquely designed leather sectional in a plummy brown tone. To complement the sectional, an upholstered accent chair was introduced, perfectly matched to the drapery side panels. Inside the windows, pirouettes from Hunter Douglas were used. The pirouette is an exciting new product recently launched by Hunter Douglas. Unlike other blinds, the pirouette offers the look of a Roman shade with the versatility of a slatted product. To create a continuous flow, pirouettes were also chosen for the dinette windows, but instead of drapery panels, valences were made in the same fabric. Adding a hint of the Orient to the setting, this unusual dining suite offers a sophisticated yet trendy look. The spa-like ensuite was the inspiration for the white bedding in this beautiful master bedroom, creating a hotel-like ambiance. At the foot of the bed, a silk throw in plum tone offsets the stark whiteness of the bed linens. The white is carried over to the roll-up lines gracing the patio doors. The queen-size bed features a leather panel headboard from the Paris collection by Shermag. A bureau and end tables from the same collection finish the look. It's also exciting to work with an existing space and attain a new look, as we did with this home. It's true that large windows are a growing trend in today's homes, which presents unique challenges when it comes to window treatments. In this space, we selected a striped fabric that was meant to run vertically and used it horizontally. This balances the height of the 20-foot ceilings while playing off the parallel lines on the back wall. To create different moods in the room, we selected Hunter Douglas 3-inch silhouettes. These very versatile blinds can create a panoramic view while letting in plenty of natural light, yet still protecting your furniture from more than 90% of UV rays. As you can see, there are many considerations when creating the right custom window treatment for your space. This episode has been brought to you in part by Merrick Homes. And now for a quick stop at a few local boutiques for one-of-a-kind and hard-to-find gifts and collectibles. We are at 10,000 Villages, a store that truly operates with a global conscience. I'm here with manager Gwen Rapetta. Hello. Hello, Gwen. I'm very interested to know about the philosophy behind 10,000 Villages. Mm. What could you tell us about your store? Uh, 10,000 Villages actually counts its beginning as 1946 mm -hmm. with a woman named Edna Ruth Weiler. And what we do is we provide vital fair income to artisans in developing countries. And we do that by marketing their handicrafts and telling their stories. Um, I hear you have some fabulous finds. We have fabulous finds all through the store. Everything from the furniture to the rings to the jewelry. I have a beautiful little find right here. 
These are some bracelets, fairly new, that have come to us from a group in India. The bag is also from them. So this is created all together as a nice little piece that we can market in our stores. Mm -hmm. Some of the jewelry has bone in it, some of the jewelry is beadwork, some mm -hmm. of them are made by what we call lost wax, and that's a Toreg term. Uh, it's a group we work with out of Niger, mm -hmm. and I can show you some of that as well. Could you tell us a bit more about some other specific products mm -hmm. that you have? We have a lovely little nativity set, and we get nativity sets from all over the world. It's a perfect place for collectors. This particular one is from Vietnam. It's very small, and it's got hand-carved little pieces of stone in it, quite a few mm -hmm. of them. And I hear you also have a lot of volunteers that work within the 10,000 villages. We do. This particular store will have anywhere between 25 and 30 volunteers, all of which we gather together come Christmas time. And they're coming to us and they want to make a difference. And so by coming and volunteering in a place like this, they feel that they're doing their part. Right. Well, thank you, Gwen, for your time. You're welcome. What a girl wants? I say bring on the bling. And this is a great boutique for just that. This isn't just a timepiece, it's a fashion statement. In fact, telling time has never looked so good. Note the case of this lady's watch from Fendi. It cleverly echoes the buckle motif of the company's well-known luggage line. It also features a sparkling diamond encrusted face with a numberless dial and contemporary wrist strap. Fendi offers a unique line for women in various styles, along with some great watch selections for men. And that's not all that Demetrius has to offer. Other fab finds at this locale include custom-created jewelry, like this gorgeous ring designed by George Varis. And if that's not enough, check out this little sparkler, a beautiful tennis bracelet that'll make your heart sing. When a special gift is in order, finding something unique can be challenging. Today we're visiting a specialty shop that is well known for solving that dilemma. I'm here with Cassandra Smith, owner of Brushfire Ceramic Studio. Hello, Cassandra. Hi. So, what could you tell us about Brushfire? Well, we're a painter-owned pottery shop. The idea is you come in and select a piece of pottery. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of pieces to choose from. You can sketch a design on it in pencil, and we, uh, you can use your own imagination, or you can use our stencils and books. Once you've sketched out your design, you paint it, and then we'll glaze it and fire it for you. Are you going to give us a demonstration? Absolutely! So on this platter, I have sketched out my design in pencil, and once you've got it painted, or sketched rather, you paint it. And we so can start doing that. Can I join you in this? Absolutely! So I can draw whatever I want on here? Right! Okay. See, it's a great way to make personalized gifts. Um, you can have kids come in and do handprints. You can do a personalized gift for a wedding or a retirement or a birthday. I mean, anything you can think of. So if you don't live in Winnipeg or you don't have time to come in and uh, create something special, you can go to our website, which is brushfirestudio.com, and we'll customize a piece for you. Now I've finished painting my piece, mm -hmm. so we'll let it dry, and then it'll get a clear coat of glaze on it. Uh, we'll let that dry again, and then it'll get glazed and fired. And you can pick your piece up in about a week, and once you do, it'll look like this. That looks wonderful. So the colors really come out. Yeah, they're much more vibrant, and uh -huh. all the pieces you make are functional, as I mentioned. Right. Um, and so it'll go in the dishwasher. If you choose that you don't want to come in and paint your own design, you can uh, order a customized piece from us. Mm -hmm. You can do that by phoning the studio or visiting us online at brushfirestudio.com. Hmm. Wonderful. And there you have it. The perfect place to create a personalized gift. Thank you, Cassandra. Thanks for dropping by. This episode has been brought to you in part by Curtis Carpets. Who would have thought a fridge and stove could make a fashion statement? Today's consumer is demanding not only superior function, but also the ultimate in style and luxury. Here to show us the latest products is Janelle Robin of Coast Wholesale Appliances. Hello, I'm Janelle Robin from Coast Wholesale Appliances. Today's consumer is very discerning when it comes to selecting appliances for the home. Whether it's an oven, refrigerator or dishwasher, our tastes have definitely evolved. In fact, people aren't just seeking superior performance these days. They're also looking for energy efficiency and the ultimate in style. The way appliances blend into a setting has become just as important as their function, and consumers aren't the only ones on this wavelength. 
Manitoba's top builders are also aware of the demand for stylish products that look as good as they perform. As a result, they are installing great looking appliances in their show homes. This Merrick display home is a perfect example of today's refined tastes. It features exceptional luxurious appliances that really add to the beauty of the design. Thanks to innovative manufacturers like Wolf and Sub-Zero, there are some great products to choose from today. For example, there's the Wolf line, which offers the ultimate cooking experience. This model boasts dual burners that define power and control, from 16,000 B2 for boiling and searing to a low 500 B2 for simmering. It also features a built-in infrared charbroiler, which is great for those Manitoba winters. And installed underneath is a wolf warming drawer. Take this refrigerator from the Sub-Zero line. Featuring an integrated finish, it will add dramatic impact to any kitchen. What makes a Sub-Zero is dual refrigeration, humidity control and superior construction, as well as design flexibility. For example, you can integrate a Sub-Zero fridge with your cabinetry to create a seamless look for your kitchen. Liber, AG and Blomberg have also come out with innovative high quality products. The Liber refrigerator offers European quality and design and meets our Canadian lifestyle. AEG by Electrolux offers various built-in products, including built-in steam ovens, wall ovens, and coffee makers. From the Blomberg line, this European dishwasher has an extremely quiet wash cycle and is one of the most energy and water efficient dishwashers on the market today. As you can see, today's consumers have more appliances to choose from than ever before. Appliances with more features, better efficiency, and importantly, the ultimate in style. This episode has been brought to you in part by Coast Wholesale Appliances. I'm here in the kitchen with Darcy Myers, recipe columnist for Style Manitoba. Hello Darcy. Hi hey, Mia, how are you? Good. Darcy, what is the theme for your fall menu? Well, I've always thought when it's time to go back to school and everybody goes back to work, they're so relaxed from a wonderful summer that it's hard to think about getting into a routine and cooking a nice healthy dinner. So um, everybody just usually puts something quick in the microwave and that's it, forget about it. We've had such a wonderful abundant harvest in Manitoba that I thought I'd put all that together. We'd use some cucumbers, some zucchini, some fresh basil, garlic, tomatoes, and all these dishes can be made in under 30 minutes. Hmm. So I thought that would be the need for speed. The need for speed. Wonderful. And uh, the first dish that we're going to do is an avocado and cucumber soup. The first thing you do is you take one of our beautiful Manitoba cucumbers and just fill it, just like that. And it comes off really, really easily. So I take the cucumber and I quarter it like this. And then just take a little spoon and, and, and dig it. There's like a little, little ledge there. Mm -hmm. And you can just dig the seeds right up. And see how easy that is? There you've got your cucumber. Then you just dice it up. And uh, then you just put that into the blender. And voila. There the you need have it. to deseed. The need to deseed and the need for speed. So now I'm going to do the avocados. So the easiest way to do the avocado is just run your knife right along the width of the avocado. This is a really neat trick. Just spin it, take your knife, <laughs> twist it, and out comes the ah, seed. Beautiful. Then just take your knife and slice it along like this. And then take your spoon. You just run it along the outside and you've got, you see how it pops out like that? See how simple that was? Mm -hmm. Really, this is a very, very nice, quick and easy and healthy dish. And I'm going to pulverize this. Sometimes you may find that the soup is a little thick. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no problem adding a little bit of water uh, just to thin it out. 
and it'll just be fine. Also lemon juice, if you like the tartness of lemon juice, just a little bit of lemon juice as well mm. would make it very, very nice. Mm -hmm. So it's important, Mia, to, to remember when you're working with avocados, you always need an acid because it oxidizes very quickly and turns a yucky brown. And this is such a beautiful, vibrant colored dish that it's always important to squeeze the lemon over it. And I like to use mm. my hand as a, as a sieve because why not use what you have, right? And so I've got all the seeds. Brilliant idea. And the other thing you can always do, too, is uh, the soup may be a little thick. It depends on the consistency of the avocado. So once I put the avocado in there and blended it up, you know, you can take a look and it is very thick. Yes. Much too thick mm -hmm. to eat as soup. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with just getting a little bit of water and just adding a little bit of water. And then re blending it. And this soup again keeps very well. So I'll just give that a whirl, see how it comes out. There we go. That's just about perfect. And so now to serve this and present it, just take a nice bowl, pour some of the soup in. May I? Absolutely. So and then I've got a nice little trick. Like? Just, to, uh, you know, as much as you like, just to make it nice and pretty. And would you dollop it in the dollop center it. or spread it throughout? No, right in the center. Perfect. And now, again, because we have such wonderful um, herbs growing in Manitoba, I thought a little bit of basil just sprinkled on top. It's very pretty. And then a nice little drizzle of olive oil. Mm. And voila. There you have cucumber and avocado soup. It's cocktail time and I am here with Megan McKay, Style Manitoba's Martini Queen. Megan, what are you going to shake up for us today? Well, our next martini is our toasted almonds. So we will start with our amaretto liqueur. Cocktail shaker, a full of ice, full of ice. Uh, three quarters an ounce of amaretto, as well as three quarters of an ounce of our coffee liqueur. And lastly, a half an ounce of the Irish cream. Mm. Would you consider this a dessert, Martin? It is. I would like it for dessert. Next, an ounce and a half of light cream in there. Shake this one off just moderately, real shake. And again, strain into our chilled cocktail glass. Cream one. Mm. May I? Oh, mm -hmm. how many? We had our toasted almonds, as many as you like. There we go. And the toasted almond. Voila. Mmm, cheers. <laughs>